Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this problem right here. And as a side note, in the description box, there are two playlists. One playlist has several strategies for limit problems, and the other playlists are random limit problems. And so let's begin. So what I recommend doing is first, let's just plug in zero and see what do we get. So if we plug in a zero, we're going to get one divided by zero plus five minus one divided by five and the whole thing divided by zero. So let's just see what we get. So zero plus five is still five. So we get one divided by five minus one divided by five. So the numerator is zero divided by zero. This is a big red flag that we have to apply one of our strategies to solve this problem. I classify this problem as common denominator in that we need to get the common denominator for the numerator. And so let's begin. So this denominator is x plus 5, this is just a 5, so the common denominator could be 5 times x plus 5. And so we're going to rewrite this as the limit of x approaching 0, parentheses, 1 divided by x plus 5. And what I'm going to do is multiply 5 on both pieces. I'm also going to put a parentheses around this. Minus 1 divided by 5 times, in this case, I'm going to multiply it by this piece, x plus 5 in both the numerator and the denominator. And I'll quickly explain why we can do this. So, you know, here we did 5 divided by 5, and 5 divided by 5 is just 1, so we're not making any changes. Here we did x plus 5 divided by x plus 5, which is just 1. We're not making any changes. Whole thing divided by x, close parentheses. Okay, our next step is to kind of clean this up a little bit, expand it out, get the common denominator. So we're going to get 5 times 1, so just 5, and then here negative 1 times x plus 5, so negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times 5 is negative 5, and the common denominator we said was 5 times x plus 5. 5 times x plus 5, close parentheses, but this x is still here, so the whole thing divided by x, close parentheses. Okay, now we're going to like simplify a little bit, cancel out some terms. So here we have 5 minus 5, so that can be canceled, and we would get a regular negative x divided by 5 times parentheses x plus 5. And this whole thing is divided by x, but to make this kind of easier, we can say x divided by 1. x divided by 1 is still just x, close parentheses. So we have two fractions. This is 1, this is the second one. So we can write, rewrite whenever we have two fractions. I'll show you what we're going to get. So we're going to get our parentheses, negative x divided by 5 times parentheses x plus 5. And now here we have x divided by 1, which we can rewrite it as times 1 divided by x. And now we notice something special. The numerator here is an x, the denominator is an x, so you can cancel it out. And so we're going to get the limit of x approaching 0. The top is a negative 1, so parentheses negative 1 divided by 5 parentheses x plus 5. And now we got to just plug in x as 0, and we should have our answer. So what we're going to get, we're going to get negative 1 divided by 5 parentheses 0 plus 5. And 0 plus 5 is just 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. So our final answer will be negative 1 divided by 25, and we can box in this answer. And that's all we need to do for this problem. Again, check out the playlist in the description box for specific problem types or random problems.